Do you have low testosterone? Do you know that low testosterone has a negative impact on men with MS? If you'd like to hear more, don't turn away, because that learning starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between clinic visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic is the impact of low testosterone on men with MS. Now to unpack this, I want to first describe the differences between men and women with MS because there are some key differences. Women are three times more likely to develop MS as compared to men. However, when a man has MS, he tends to have a faster progression of disease as compared to women. Now, we also have learned some very interesting things about sex hormones. So the female sex hormone is estrogen, and I'll do a separate talk discussing the intricacies of estrogen and, and women with MS. This video is focused for the boys, and I'm going to be talking about the male sex hormone, testosterone. So many people listening in might think about testosterone in the context of enhancing athletic performance or associated with uh, low libido, with low testosterone or erectile dysfunction. But I want to focus on some different aspects of testosterone. It turns out that testosterone has other effects on the human body. It does appear to have certain anti-inflammatory effects, and it even looks in a, in a culture dish like it has some neuroprotective effects. And so there may be more to testosterone than just big bulky muscles and libido. As it relates to MS, uh, there's an interesting statistic that just came out not too long ago suggesting that up to 40% of men with MS have low levels of testosterone. Now there's some emerging data that might suggest that low testosterone actually increases the risk to develop MS, but that's not scientific gospel that's still very much uh, being discovered. When men with MS have low testosterone, it has a negative impact. And so part of the desire to do this video is to help educate you guys that low testosterone can have a negative impact in men with MS. And so what is that negative impact? Now, what does this mean in 2019? Well, number one, it means we need more research. We most certainly need research looking at the positives and the negatives of supplementing testosterone in men with MS. Because if we could find a way to administer testosterone safely, and an improved long-term physical and cognitive outcomes in MS guys, well, that would be a really big deal. Now, the other thing I think we need to consider is what do we do in the now before that research is published? And as you're well aware, uh, I do these videos never to give medical advice. I can't give medical advice on the interwebs. I do this to provide medical education. But in, in part of the medical education is giving you uh, discussion points to talk to your doctor about. So check this out. If a guy with MS is found to have a low testosterone level, I think it's reasonable to discuss the risk benefit of supplementing testosterone. So if you have a gentleman with MS and he's having a faster progression of disease or he's having cognitive impairment, I think it's a reasonable thing to look at testosterone levels the way I just described. And if they're low, I think it's a reasonable thing to discuss with the patient, the family, the cardiologist, and the neurologist the risk benefit of possibly supplementing his testosterone level. Now, I am not telling you to go out and take anabolic steroids, not at all. But I am sharing with you that multiple sclerosis is super complex. And it's not just the immune system and just the nervous system. There's other factors at play. And if nothing else, this hopefully serves as a good example of that about how men with MS uh, can have a negative impact if their testosterone level is low. Once again, my name is Aaron Boster, and thank you for taking a few moments to learn about MS with me. If you like this video, that's awesome, and if you'd like to see more content from me, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. And if you click that little notifications bell, it'll alert you every time I publish a new video. I'm trying to publish about once or twice every week. Until my next video, take care.